everyone and welcome back to the magical world of the British Empire, Europa Universalis 4, in what is likely the last episode as well, which is a, it's a sad time. We've been going for many months now, partly because of my incompetence at sticking to a rough schedule. Um, yeah, we, 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 we won't mention that, you know. I, I suck at... Um, consistency, shall we say. Uh, it's okay, we got there in the end, didn't we? I mean, it took me eight months to start the series, so the mere fact we've actually managed to finish it in less than eight months. Was it eight months? I think it was eight months. I think I did tease it eight months before I started it. <laughs> Coming soon, eight months later. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's, Still soon in some people's definition of time, I think, is what I said in the first episode, so... Eh, could have been worse. Of course, uh, we've built the Panama Canal. Take another sip of my drink as we survey our empire and reflect on all the wonders this game has brought. The French are at war again with Prussia. Part of... Ooh. You've just lost a war. He still joins! He has a truce with Prussia, and if I declare war on him, the Prussians still join him. This is bullshit. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna very cheekily have a run down here. So... I think we're going to pull the manpower from every corner of the Empire and we are going to commit a mass invasion of over there. That is indeed a technical term. So let's get the men sorted and in place. So these two boats I want to go up there. It would be so nice if I could have got the canal. That would just make things so much easier but no. Not to, not to be, unfortunately, so these boats I'm going to send over to Cyprus. I do believe we've got another fleet there, that's good. I could use some more men. Uh, we'll get a colonial army, we'll build one there as well. And then we'll build another one here. I think we're going to save our manpower now. But we're just going to go for a bit of a lightning war, try and grab as much land as we can before the game ends. We don't have much time to do it in, so it's going to be a bit of a... A bit of a suicidal charge, I think. But, uh... I, I think I have faith that we can do it. I'm just going to send the navies down already. Just make sure we're kind of in a position to do all of this. Um... I, I would, but I will, I'm not. I'm not. I've got my own plans to uh, make a big blob on the map. So we're gonna we're gonna get the men in position first, and hopefully we are gonna smash them. All of their good vibes are just gonna disappear. They're gonna be like, oh no, Britain's invaded. It's over. We want to break their spirits as quickly as we can. So, are my boats getting in position? Where are my other men? Actually, that's a point. I forgot about these men. So, let's get these guys in position as well. And then we will go to Gibraltar. Where are all the other boats? So here are the Indian armies arriving. We're about to invade them with a large number of angry Indian people. I think... I don't know where to start the invasion off. But uh, we are getting people around. Oh, come on, I need... Where's my boat? There it is. Right, down here with you. Right, 
as soon as everyone's in position, we're launching this. Right, hang on. I need... I need more boats. I need more boats. <laughs> uh, send one up there. Actually, I need two boats to go up there. We need to get both of those armies down here and kicking. Uh, we'll take this. Yeah, whatever. Don't even care because it's nearly the end of the game. We won't have to deal with any of the consequences of any of those decisions. This navy needs to turn around as well and get up here. I believe the Ottomans won't join because they're still horrifically in debt. Canada has declared war on Florida. Very good. Right. I don't want to be declaring war any later than 18, probably, but we've, we've probably cut this a bit late now. But, uh... We shall... We shall prevail. Right. Both of these are queued up to go. No. There we go. Right, now we've done that properly. There we go. Right, both of you... Oh, look at this. We are ready to just swarm across the Mediterranean on them. Yes. Where's their cap? Really want to do their capital first. So we are going to kind of get the men in position here to just absolutely blindside them. They are going to wonder what the hell just hit them. Right, come on, get the men up here. Yes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That side of the map is dead now. It's dead to me. Uh, we'll get that as well. Why not? Game's nearly over anyway. Right. Most of our armies are in position. The Ottomans are 58,000 ducats in debt. Imperialism. And we're off. Will is allied. Morocco does join. That's fine. We should still outnumber them quite badly, especially in terms of naval. Uh, right. We're just going to kind of drop off the first armies. There win that battle. Right. The 30 stack is going there. No, I want the navies. No. Send that one there. Off we go. Can we land? Yes, we can. Where's the other navy? You boys are going there. Right. Honestly, don't really need this many uh, ships here, so you go up there, and you go over here. We're just going to kind of try and blockade them into submission. Should be a very quick land grab, just like that. Lightning, war, blitzkrieg. We are just blitzkrieging them here. We've done a Hitler, but way too early. Um... Eh. I think it's uh, 1821 the game ends, so we've got a few years to do this, which is okay. And uh, we seem to be smashing them now. We are well in position to do this. Right. Let's just land these troops down here on this um, fort. Okay, that's 40... One foul. Let's let them get locked in first. And then we will turn the army around. And we'll say, hello, governor, how's it going? So, right, now he's locked in. He can't run away from that. So he's going to have to face the consequences of his actions. Hee hee hee! That is 50,000 Tunisians. And very angry Tunisians at that. Uh, we shall send another navy over there, uh, over here, right, he's going up here, which is his mistake, 
We just, uh, can I click the island, please? Can I click the island? The island. There we go. Um, no. There we go. I want battle view. We just want to blow a hole in that, first of all. Let's let him, let's do the same thing. Let him get locked in. And we'll send 25,000. Group of men. 40,000 men will come in. Right as he's, yeah, look at that. We have just completely buggered him. Get him out. Those guys are locked in. Of course, now, why can we not go straight there? It's always this army that just... Okay. Apparently not. Apparently we're going round. We're going the long way round, everyone. But that's okay. Because hopefully we can make it in time. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was a bit close. Way, way too close. I'm not sure where that got unseaged from. Well, we just need to be kind of semi-careful now. We have momentum, but we could easily lose it. We mustn't overextend ourselves. Uh, I would like... There's not really anywhere else to blockade, really. I mean, there's like... The desert. That's about it, really. That's all that's left I, I can blockade. So... Ah, oh well. Right, hopefully we get that other fort. And then we can get through. That guy will stay there. This army will link up with the ones down here. Where is this fort? It's there. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ, no. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I'm going this way. They look like they want to take their capital back, so we're just going to kind of deny them their hopes and dreams. Let's just go and sit in the highlands over here. Ooh, Guns, Drums and Steel soundtrack kicks in as well. Yes! Excellent. Uh, did we take this? Yes, we did. Right, hopefully, we could just go and do a cheeky one. Yeah, look at that. Off you go, my son. Uh, we've been beaten back there. Oh, really? I can't just reinforce that? Okay. Oh, oh no, it's all gone pear-shaped. No, we're doing it. Right, can we just get some time, some off time for the lads to regroup and redouble their assault afterwards? Right, hang on, hold up, hold up, it's all happening at once, I can't keep up. Right, we'll tech up our military, that way we're uh, even better, hopefully. They're 31, we're 32 mil tech, so quite a big advantage there. All of a sudden they have high enthusiasm again, which is annoying. I can't move men because they got a fort. Ah, you fuckers. Alright, no, come back. Our leader has died. Right. What can we grab? We are definitely losing momentum here. Um, I kind of like to charge there. Let's charge them. Let's do it. Big fight. Big fight now. Big push. We're losing. How the fuck... <laughs> How are we losing this? Ah, uh, river crossings and everything. Bugger. Oh well. We've got his capital. Uh, you know what? I'm going to peace out now. I, I don't think there's much else we can accomplish here. So I think I would like that because it would let me um, control the area, but clearly not going to happen. The question is, 
Do I want the high valued land, or do I just want as big a blotch on the map as I can? Actually, I say that. There's not really much difference in it, so. Yeah. Bugger. What if we don't take Tunis and just take this stuff? That way we have a. Well, we would have a foothold if there was another war, but. There, of course, isn't another war, so... Eh! It's still another blotch. It's still a bit of a last hurrah for us. So... Yeah! I'll take it, you know? If I had committed sooner to this war, we would have had more space to do things, but, uh... Unfortunately, I held back until quite late on. Guys can't move. Why can't we move here? Why are they locked in place? Oh, it's probably because their morale is yeah, it's shattered morale. That's why. Uh, you go sit in there. Main fleet will come around here. You dock up there. You've got. A Colony that wants freedom. No, you're staying under my boots, son. That rebellion doesn't even matter. So I think that's it. I think that is game for us. There's not really anything we can do in this kind of time frame, so... Oh well. That's, that is, this is the end. Let's just reflect a little bit on on this game. British Mexico's huge. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's been it's been a fun game. I've I've definitely enjoyed the ride, even though it was painful at times when things went all horribly pear shaped and Yeah. I don't know what to do with my life now. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll have to figure out what to play next, I think. I thought that I thought I had Malta for I don't know. It's just a very similar colour to mine. Yeah, that is that is the end of the game for us for all intents and purposes. So uh, it's just speed five, it's like last year. The last year. We got we got a bit more land. It's a blob on the map. It looks good. You know, I got all these nice little bits and bobs everywhere. I know someone's probably going to be shit-talking me in the comments, like, oh, your, your empire shit, you shouldn't be happy with that. You know what, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I, I had a good time doing this, so... That's all that matters to me. Because, you know, I had fun, it didn't go horribly wrong entirely, so... It's all good. I'll send that navy up there. But yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with how this has gone. It's been, it's been a fun ride. And of course we got to see the Otter Blob fall horrifically in debt as well. Which is just funny. Um, also, I'm, I'm taking it as a partial win that we managed to hold on to our French possessions. Could have done a client state, but I didn't. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I am I am satisfied. And there we go, that is the end of the game. So, 1444 to 1821, we are done. Oh. Yeah, we had the uh, the largest navy in the world, which is nice. The eleventh largest army. Yeah, so that's all right considering we're Britain. Third most provinces. I wonder who had more. Probably um, the Ottomans and Ming. Maybe that's who my money would be on. Third highest province value. Fourth highest income. Sixth highest trade income. Overall, a pretty damn good game, I'd say. I mean, I enjoyed it anyway, so... Yeah. Let's just have a look at the stats quickly. I don't think this works entirely properly. So, each year, about 1,834 combatants fell to our fire and steel. So that's like the average, averaged out over every year of the game. That's how many enemies we killed a year. Uh... That's not a great KD ratio, I will be honest. Um, about one sinking ship 
a year. 43 of our wars ended in glorious victory, though, so, you know, it's not all bad, is it? No ships, we, we lost no ships, ever. Uh, we wiped 30 nations from the face of the earth, how British of me. Our great nation annexed 250 provinces, that is a nice round number. 169 were unjustly stolen, though. 182 military leaders throughout history. Oh, bloody hell. Our grandest province was one that we annexed off the Indians. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that one. But, yeah, that was... That was Europa Universalis IV, the British Empire. I would say see you in the next one, but there's not a next one. That's it. So, thank you all for watching, everyone. It's been a great series. We'll, uh... We'll have to figure out what to do now, because there is no more of the British Empire. So thank you very much for watching if you've stuck through the entire series. And I'll see you in whatever it is we do next. Goodbye.